Alice. So in today's video, I wanted to take you along a tour of my crystal collection. Rather than going into each crystal, I mostly just wanted to focus on how I have them displayed. I recently decluttered my collection. You can check out that video above. I redid my crystal display and kind of gave them each a new home. I'm really happy with how they're set up right now. So I just wanted to take you through each room and show you how I have them displayed. At the end, stay tuned because I will show you two new crystals that I purchased. I was trying to do a bit of a crystal no buy until all the crystals on my Etsy sell, but I caved and I got two new small crystals. So I will show you those at the end. But without further ado, let's go check out the crystals. I keep the majority of my crystals on this Lazy Susan, so you can spin it around. These are mostly my smoky quartz crystals, though there are definitely some others mixed in there. I love that I decluttered because I'm able to enjoy each of these crystals more and give each one more of my attention when I'm hanging out in this room. Over on this side of the table, I have one labradorite. I was considering getting rid of this one because I wanted all of these to fit on the Lazy Susan, but I just think this one's too good for now to give then moving on over here by my fireplace, I have one of my largest cathedrals front and center. It used to be over there and I moved it here and I really enjoy being able to see it better when I'm sitting on my couch. Then I have my selenite lamp and two large clear quartz crystals, my salt lamps, and two more cathedrals over here. And I have these crystals which I hauled in a recent video. I think they look really nice with the selenite candle holder because they're all kind of a similar and then underneath, I have this stunning amethyst piece. This one has been in my collection since the very beginning. It kind of kick-started my obsession. So now I'm in my spa bathroom. This is where I take really relaxing zen baths. It has these nice little shelves, which makes it easy for me to display crystals. As you can see, I have some pieces of rose quartz, smoky quartz, and clear quartz. And then this is all of my other rose quartz pieces. I really like how that looks all together. On the side here, I have some clear quartz as well as my only piece of spirit quartz. This was also one of the first crystals I bought along with that big piece of amethyst I just showed you guys. And then towards the back, I just have these tiny tumbled pieces. Here's what it looks like all together. I also have some crystals in this bowl and I have a bunch of these cool clear quartz. I have this salt lamp nightlight which is cool. Now we are in my bedroom and I keep the majority of my crystals right within this little vicinity. I originally only kept amethyst in my bedroom for a long time and then some more crystals just kind of found their way in. But amethyst I definitely feel like is a very zen vibe for trying to get good sleep. I keep some of my all-time favorite crystals in here because honestly I spend a lot of time in bed. <laughs> but I get into bed very early at night and just enjoy the vibes of my bedroom. I primarily have amethyst up here. I keep my necklaces on this one. And then in the midst of all of my jewelry, I have my two favorite labradorites. I absolutely love this one. These little towers, I just really like how these look. I was not planning on keeping them in here because I had the intention to keep my bedroom very minimal with crystals, but I just love how they look. Over here, I have two of my all-time faves. I have this massive cathedral, and I also have this beautiful clear quartz sphere with a heart. I love putting it directly over the table and looking at the cool light shine through. This is my little bed view so I'm able to just check them all out while I'm laying in bed. And over here I have two more crystal lamps. So now I'm in my more utilitarian bathroom. I don't spend a ton of time in here just hanging out so my crystals are kind of minimal in here but I still have a few. I have this beautiful geode and then over in the shower I have one little amethyst. In my little home gym slash guest bedroom. I don't have that many crystals, but I do have these pieces here. Okay, the last place I have crystals is kind of weird. It is the closet in my guest bedroom. This is where I keep all the crystals that I have on my Etsy listed. I have a ton in here and some of the bigger ones up here. I've been getting a lot of orders this week, so thank you to everybody who's ordered. I'm so excited that my crystals that I've decided to declutter are going to homes where they're gonna be loved. So the final thing I wanted to show you today are the two new little crystals I got. I purchased these in San Diego a few days ago. Okay guys, excuse the terrible lighting, but against my better judgment, I went to the crystal store. I haven't been in like a month. I've done really good, and today I didn't go crazy but I just wanted to go and I found two really 
really special pieces that were not super expensive. The first piece I got is this crystal cluster. It has three points attached. The thing that really stood out to me though is it has a lot of rainbows in the corner. And then as I was checking out, there was a cabinet behind the checkout section and this rainbow caught my eye. And it was through this little tiny tower, this clear quartz tower. It has so many rainbows though. Like the rainbow to crystal ratio in this one is off the charts. And it's so tiny. I feel like this is not going to be a burden on my minimalism. And I have specific spots for both of these where I'm going to put them into my spa bath. So I know where they're going to go and I'm just really excited. So that is all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how my crystals were displayed. Maybe it gave you some fun ideas for ways you want to display your crystals. In the meantime, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!